All right, so I've got this uh, Troy built generator. I bought it about eight years ago. Um, I try and take it out about every six months and run it. Um, however, I was just testing it out and I realized that it runs just fine, except the generator does not produce any electricity. Um, I took apart uh, the actual generator cap there to take a look and see what's going on. Um, didn't see anything too bad and I read some stuff online about flashing your generator. So um, essentially the magnets in here kind of lose their charge. They're not excited enough to get started. Um, I don't completely understand it, but I understand magnetic fields, electricity, stuff like that. But not enough magnetism in order to get this part moving. Now the engine works fine. Um, and yes, I did check the breakers and all that kind of stuff. So the strategy is to take a corded drill, uh, plug it in here, and what you need to do is you need to hold down the trigger and um, twist this backwards, twist the, the chuck backwards. Um, so you're actually sending electricity into the generator. By sending electricity into the generator, um, you can excite it again in order to make it start running. So I'm gonna give that a try here in just a second. I need someone to hold my camera. Well, the drill trick did not work, so color me crazy here. We know that we have to be putting some energy into the generator in order for it to re-energize, to get it working. Um, so, suppose the power's out, what are you gonna do? Well, let's give this a try. I have an old plug um, that I sacrificed. It was just in my basement. And the either end is hooked up to some jumper cables here. Jumper cables are going to get connected to the battery. I don't know if it'll work. Let's try it. We'll get it uh, rolling and we'll see what happens. So I'm not going to turn it on first. I'm just going to um, put the leads on for like 10 seconds. Then I'm going to unplug it and then I'm going to put it under load using I've got a drill or a light over there and we'll see what happens. All right, I know it's a little loud. I got everything working. I don't want to turn it off right now. I want everything to charge. But what I did was I used uh, this. I had it plugged into a 110. I made sure the breaker was on. And then it followed here, connected to the battery. Nothing worked until I had the generator on. When I had the generator on, I connected those just for a second. And when I connected those just for a second, then everything fired up. Now the, the motor was already running, but I wasn't getting any electricity until I connected to this. Connect just for one second, take it away, boom. I got a light. I got a vacuum that's working. Everything's hunky dory, it's working great now. So that's how you get it. You got to connect it to a source. Your generator has to be on, it has to be running. You put a little bit of power back into the generator while everything's running just for a second, and then it's going to light up. <laughs> 